Hi everyone, in today's video I'm going to show you how to half double crochet. So all you need is some yarn and the appropriate size hook. Okay, so if you're a beginner I'll leave a link to my beginner's playlist in the description. So we're going to start by making a slip knot. So put the tail over the working yarn. Go into the loop. Pick up the tail and then grab the two ends and pull it through. Put your hook in the loop. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to chain 11. Okay, so just pull that through. Okay, so there's my chain. So to make a half double crochet, we're going to skip this first chain. This is our turning chain. Yarn over. Go into the second chain from the hook. So not this one, but this one right here. And then you want to yarn over and bring that back through the chain. So now I have three loops on my hook. And then you want to yarn over one more time and pull that through all three loops. Okay. So to do another half double crochet, yarn over, go into the next chain, yarn over and pull that through the chain. So there's my three loops. Yarn over and pull it through all three loops. Yarn over, go into the next chain, yarn over, pull through the chain, yarn over and pull through all three loops. Okay, so we're just going to do that till we get to the end. So because we chained 11 and then we use one as a turning chain, you should end up with 10 half double crochets at the end of the row. Okay, so just go nice and slow. Right, once you get to the end of the chain you can always go back and count you should have 10 okay so if you want to do another row all you need to do is chain one and turn your work okay so this is the back of the stitch and then yarn over and you want to go into this stitch just put one in each stitch so when you go into the stitch make sure you go through both loops through the V 
yarn over and pull through yarn over and pull through all three loops okay yarn over go in through the stitch yarn over pull through yarn over and pull through all three loops and if you just practice that over and over you can do a couple of rows Okay, so at the end of every row you can go back and count that you still have 10 and when you want to do a new row just chain one and turn okay i hope that was helpful thank you for watching please like and subscribe and i'll see you in the next video